Today here on the bench a FM Dual Bender TM733 from Kenwood and the most famous President Liberty Mike. Welcome to TRX Bench. Okay, so our job today is to fit this microphone to our amateur radio here on the bench and well um, the interesting point is this here is at least a microphone for a CB radio and uh, you can see it here so this is here compatible with all president CB radio having a six pin microphone so this is uh, originally developed for CB radios by president uh, of course so that is a uh, invention well, well not really invention but um, it is produced and developed by a uh, president or their uh, companies and uh, so it is not originally um, made for amateur radio so the question now is why is somebody interested to get this microphone to this amateur radio and as I said in uh, the intro this is uh, the famous Liberty mic, mic and you know famous because it is really unique why is it unique hmm let's see what we find here in our user manual and yeah let me take it out and i have to grab here our user manual simply because we get really the unique information out of our manual I hope so I have to check where I can find it and here we have it under specifications and it is really only a little remark so the digital format is DECT and that is why it is unique and uh, this uh, DECT or DECT a standard stands for digital enhanced cordless telecommunications and now you might get uh, the idea what it was uh, made for I mean this uh, DECT standard so that is for cordless phones and that is why it is really so unique because with uh, the DECT technique we can easily cover uh, 100 plus meters of distance so you uh, really have uh, liberty you have uh, independency uh, from your rig because of course normally um, you have uh, connected uh, your uh, microphone here to your radio and you have to sit in front of your radio and with uh, this uh, microphone here you have liberty and that is a point what uh, uh, you can't have with any other um, wireless microphone because most of the other wireless, wireless microphones are um, Bluetooth standard and Bluetooth standard is not able to cover a huge distance so only uh, two three maybe five meters um, you are able to go away from uh, your rig but uh, with this microphone you really have the full DECT capability and that is really the advantage and that is the reason why here our old man is interested to get this microphone connected to his radio and I believe it is really a good opportunity if uh, you do not uh, have 
uh, crossband capability in your radio. I mean, there are crossband radios on the market where you simply can uh, switch uh, crossband uh, functionality in and then you can use your uh, handheld radio uh, to use crossband uh, uh, capability but you know a lot of people uh, do not want uh, to make it uh, that complicated just for the idea uh, walking around uh, with uh, a little a microphone so that is really simple you simply connect it to the radio and then you can walk around you can sit in your garden you can go into your basement whatever you like and that is really the advantage so uh, enough story around this let's start and let's see if we can uh, fit it uh, to our radio and very interesting for us is how does it sound so maybe uh, that uh, the components used in this microphone, maybe uh, the uh, capsule or so, is uh, not that good, that uh, at least um, the uh, voice is not really nice to listen on a distant uh, end radio. So, therefore, we uh, are not only interested to get it connected here to our radio, we are also interested if uh, the modulation is good and we are interested if it really works here with uh, our DECT standard as we hope that it works. And then at the end we may be able to recommend this uh, microphone for uh, amateur radio purposes as well or maybe we have to say at the end of uh, this video mm, better leave it alone so it is not that what we thought and uh, it does not fulfill what it obviously promised so let us see and let's see how we can judge it at the end of this video Okay, not too much box opening. Let us simply look what uh, we have. So first of all, this is here uh, our cradle uh, and uh, it has to be uh, connected here of course uh, to the radio and uh, as we already have uh, seen on uh, the box it is for all um, President CB radios which uh, have the six pin um, microphone jack so that is uh, what uh, we have here so that means it does not fit um, and uh, this cradle is um, additional to that it is the cradle uh, it is the base station so you know if you have a wireless uh, phone at home so you have your wireless um, handle and uh, you have your base station where your uh, wireless phone is uh, subscripted to and uh, that is here exactly the same so this is uh, representing our base station and uh, then of course the microphone is uh, our mobile unit and as I can see it here yeah you can uh, place it here uh, into the cradle if uh, you place it here uh, near your radio and uh, then what have we else so this here is obviously our charging cable cable so uh, yeah so that is uh, for charging and uh, well with uh, our microphone we have here this uh, car charger and uh, according to our um, manual uh, it can be used uh, from uh, 12 to uh, 24 volt so that means this uh, charger here can be used in trucks as well not only in cars you can use it uh, um, in trucks which are, are having 24 volts um, normally and uh, of course uh, if you have uh, something uh, like uh, this here so this is a little uh, power supply for USB connectors so now you can uh, do it uh, this way and uh, connect it here to mains 
Um, so that uh, is what comes here with uh, our radio. What else? Ah, okay. So this here, of course, is um, our audio wire. So, um, I mean, we have uh, inside our microphone here this little hole. So that is our microphone. And uh, this is here uh, our speaker. And, uh, well, what uh, we uh, need to do, uh, let me take it apart. So, uh, what we need uh, to do is um, we have to pick here our audio signal from the radio because uh, with uh, this microphone we do not really need uh, our internal um, speaker. So, we want to walk away and uh, therefore we want to listen here to um, the audio through our microphone and therefore we have to connect here um, our audio to our cradle here, all right, and then the audio from our mobile gets uh, supplied here to the cradle and then we can listen it here um, at our microphone and we can of course adjust here uh, the uh, volume and um, other than ah okay other than that we have here uh, a belt clip right which uh, we can use to carry here our microphone around if you don't uh, use it so well, that's a quite nice idea I uh, really like it and it is obviously here uh, fixed so uh, you cannot lose it obviously so very nice ah so this clip is uh, here holding it so you hear the click and now you can't uh, get it off so that is uh, really a nice idea and you have to release it here uh, to get it uh, off somehow no it don't, don't work Ah, so it works very nice so that is uh, what uh, is in the box and uh, well of course now we could do um, two different uh, things first of course we uh, could uh, cut here um, this connector and uh, we could uh, put simply uh, a western jack here to uh, our uh, cable but I think I do not want to um, destroy this uh, um, original uh, jack because uh, then you can use it on uh, different uh, radios, not only on this. And uh, of course, uh, if we have to talk about disadvantages, uh, if you see this original uh, Kenwood uh, microphone, so we have here a lot of uh, different functions on um, our um, microphone. And uh, this uh, func functionality is not given here with uh, our president uh, microphone. So we only can uh, adjust here um, the volume and of course we have our PTT and this here is uh, um, the um, yeah that is a coupling uh, button if you press it then if uh, our cradle would be uh, attached to the radio then uh, the base station would try to get uh, contact get in contact with um, your uh, microphone with your mobile device so that is uh, where it is for so we will see it um, uh, in, in in a bit so that is uh, what uh, we get with the radio and now I think the best idea is uh, to build here an adapter so uh, I have um, this uh, adapter here where what we can uh, use here um, to get this connection and uh, then I need a piece of wire and then uh, this Western uh, or 
J Jack uh, to get uh, at least our microphone connected here to our radio. So let's go ahead. And of course our cradle needs uh, to get supplied with um, voltage. Um, and um, I have uh, reviewed uh, the service uh, manual from the new President uh, Lincoln uh, 2 and uh, yeah, all the newer uh, President uh, products uh, have this uh, microphone uh, jacks and uh, when you uh, uh, review the uh, service manual you recognize that here uh, the pin 6 so that is a pin right here in the middle um, is directly connected uh, to 13.8 uh, volt so that means to the original supply voltage and uh, that means that obviously um, this uh, cradle needs 13.8 volt. Uh, interesting uh, enough is that uh, not only our uh, president is using this uh, six pin sockets, also um, Magnum radios and uh, Albrecht radios are using exactly uh, the same uh, schematic and um, we uh, have here so this is here how um, yeah at least uh, Albrecht or Magnum um, microphone is uh, connected so we uh, can use this here to build our um, to build uh, our adapter but first of all we uh, can check because I know that uh, here this radio only has 8 volt uh, as supply voltage and maybe 8 volt uh, is too low and uh, the problem is I do not have a schematic here for uh, our president uh, Liberty Mike so um, nothing uh, available so I was not able to uh, find something so I do not really know um, uh, what uh, uh, the schematic is so therefore we uh, really need uh, to test it out a little bit we uh, need uh, to know if uh, the 8 volt which we, good, uh, which we uh, get out uh, of uh, here is uh, sufficient or if uh, that is uh, not um, enough. Okay, and so first uh, what we can do is uh, we use here my uh, microphone uh, tester and uh, we have here Magnum um, socket so uh, I can uh, simply use here um, the Magnum uh, socket and I believe I have here an Albrecht uh, microphone so that should easily work so when I connect here my Albrecht uh, microphone to the Magnum uh, socket you already see that uh, the RX uh, LED is working so that is only the information that um, the speaker circuit is um, looped um, and uh, is working because that is, uh, you, you may have recognized uh, with most CB radios, uh, when you take away your microphone, you do not have uh, audio any longer. So you always need, need uh, to connect your microphone to the radio to get audio, right? And that is the indication that uh, this uh, is working. Now, now you see it is uh, switching uh, to uh, transmit and what you heard was uh, the feedback one two one two one two one two one two and uh, you hear that uh, the microphone is uh, obviously working and that of course means that uh, we have here a power uh, voltage uh, present at uh, pin 6 the RCI um, pins or socket doesn't really work so you see no TX no RX the reason is because 
uh, RCI does not supply voltage to uh, the microphone. But uh, yeah, let's uh, test uh, what the voltage is here. I'm not sure uh, what has been uh, done here in uh, the microphone uh, tester. So let's see how much, how many volts uh, we have here. All right, so let's see. Um, we set here our middle pin, pin 6 is uh, plus and I believe this one is uh, minus. So let's see. Yeah, and it is. So it is 8.5 volt obviously and let's see if uh, our uh, microphone is uh, working with this uh, yeah approximately 9 volt okay so let's uh, simply try okay so our cradle is uh, now connected and uh, we see here that uh, we have a red uh, LED flashing which is telling us obviously that uh, we have uh, power connected here to the cradle and uh, now when I'm pressing here our button now it should uh, synchronize in... ah! now we have green and uh, that is telling me that uh, both uh, devices have uh, synchronized so normally now uh, it should work so let me test one two one two one two one two test test audio audio okay so you see uh, it is switching between rx and uh, tx so that is uh, obviously working and we have uh, audio as well and um, yeah in the first uh, moment it uh, does not sound too bad so that is um, fine uh, now we need a tone uh, that uh, we can check if um, we uh, get uh, audio back and uh, yeah so therefore let's uh, simply use my uh, generator all right, so I have uh, the cradle here connected to, to my uh, audio uh, generator and uh, the signal is, as we have uh, done it here before, simply uh, connected here to uh, our cradle. And uh, when I now increase uh, the audio level here at uh, my generator, yeah, so I and I should be able, let's see, let me, yeah, now we can, well, it's quite loud, so we can completely adjust here our volume which uh, seems to be working uh, very nice. Um, okay, so let me switch it off here. So um, that means it seems to work with uh, 9 volt. We still don't know if it works with 8 volt. But uh, anyways, we uh, need uh, to build here our adapter and uh, of course then we can test it. Okay, and the first we do is uh, taking here uh, a bit of uh, our high-grade uh, microphone wire and of course we need here one of these uh, connectors. This uh, is a shielded uh, version. Mm, it is uh, not um, really necessary to use this uh, high-grade uh, jacks but you know it's um, not too bad so these are a bit better as uh, the only uh, plastic uh, ones so I like to use this here 
and uh, yeah so let me first uh, fit in here our microphone uh, wire and then we can uh, do our first uh, tests uh, because we still need to, to find out where we have here our uh, PTT on, on the radio so PTT and audio so that we are uh, able to get uh, the right connections right. Using here our service manual I was uh, able to identify where our pins are so this is of course our microphone uh, socket and um, the important pins for us are of course here our 8 volt DC uh, power supply our ground and uh, our PTT line and of course our microphone and uh, microphone ground whereby in uh, CB radios uh, there is no separation between um, microphone ground and uh, uh, common ground so first I try to uh, connect this both uh, grounds together so normally in the ground uh, microphone wire there is an additional uh, coil to reduce uh, distortions so you know as it is not uh, here available on our CB radios let me try to uh, simply connect these both lines together and uh, we see if uh, it works or if we have maybe a hum, a hum on um, uh, humming on on the line so that is uh, what uh, we need of course uh, what we need to prevent of of course and uh, yeah let's uh, see if we can uh, go uh, that way and uh, therefore I uh, have already here prepared our adapter so here uh, our um, jack is uh, already uh, done and uh, we can uh, connect it here to uh, the radio and uh, of course uh, I um, have checked which uh, wires go uh, where and uh, I have uh, just tried here uh, to uh, connect the both grounds uh, together common and our microphone ground and blue is uh, our PTT line and uh, when I here connect them together then you uh, that is uh, now so you can see here that uh, we are transmitting and now we are back in receive so uh, of course let me check so now you are here the static and when I now start here transmitting so you see transmitter is uh, indication is coming up PTT uh, is closed and I'm transmitting right now with uh, 10 uh, watt into my uh, test set and you see if I release it so we are back in uh, receive so that uh, tells me um, how I have uh, finally to connect my wires to um, here our uh, adapter so to our microphone socket so this will now get uh, here to the wire and then I hope uh, that it is that it will work but uh, of course we test it so let me uh, simply um, connect here this um, microphone yeah, what is it? Microphone connector at least uh, to our wire and then let's see if uh, it works especially with uh, our 8 volt because uh, when I'm testing here this I see it is not uh, already uh, 8 volt it is a little bit less uh, let me see if I can uh, show it to you so let me connect ground here from uh, the meter to the radio uh, it does not want to 
Yeah, okay, so now it uh, works and here this wire is uh, our voltage, our supply voltage and uh, you see it is only uh, 7.46 and that is again one and a half volt uh, less um, what uh, we had here on our microphone uh, tester. So yeah, I'm uh, really uh, curious if uh, it works even with uh, 7.5 volt and yeah, let me simply uh, put this on and then we see if it works or not. Okay, and uh, first uh, I tin here uh, the pins uh, I need later for uh, our connection. So uh, pin 1 here is uh, our audio and uh, pin 5 is uh, ground and uh, pin 6 is uh, plus so our supply voltage and at least uh, 3 which uh, is our PTT and uh, now I will put uh, our wires here to our connector and then we can do our first test alright so for a test uh, I left it uh, open of course and now yeah let's uh, take the cradle here and let's connect it here to our connector Mm -hmm. So we uh, do not get here our uh, flashing LED which can tell us that uh, something is uh, wrong. So maybe that uh, our voltage is too low so that uh, what we have uh, already expected and uh, yeah so let's uh, check what we have if we have anything here but yeah so that is not wrong so we have our 7.4 uh, volt so that is uh, not our problem obviously it means uh, that most likely our circuit here our cradle is not working with this low voltage so let's take back here our microphone uh, tester and let me connect the cradle once again here to the microphone tester and now you see the cradle is uh, blinking and we can or can we not yeah, so now it's synchronized, so uh, it is working, no doubt. So our 9 volt, which we uh, have here from uh, our tester, is uh, obviously fine, but our 7.4 is finally obviously too low. Yeah, so that is a problem. We really do not get what we need. Okay, so um, we really need to supply our um, cradle from uh, an 18, uh, um, 13.8 volt source otherwise uh, we obviously have problems here it is not willing to work with this low voltage let me do a very last test uh, if we really have done everything right and uh, so let me use here an Albrecht uh, uh, CB radio microphone just to verify that uh, our wiring is uh, just good and uh, you see if I press it here our PTT so that is uh, obviously working and uh, we are uh, transmitting with uh, 10 um, watt and 
one two audio audio and that is working uh, as well okay so now you can see it I press my PTT and you see we have uh, transmit we have 10 plus 5 uh, watt and one two one two and uh, here on the left uh, low uh, lower uh, display you uh, see our deviation and one two audio audio so you see we have a deviation and uh, that means that uh, what uh, we have done here uh, our wiring and uh, so forth and so forth is uh, just fine uh, it is definitely a problem of our low um, voltage and uh, we need uh, to do something um, different that we finally uh, get the right supply voltage for uh, our cradle here. Well and the only logical way is to really supply um, our um, voltage from uh, outside and uh, so therefore I uh, try to bring here a plus line uh, into my uh, microphone um, connector here and uh, just uh, connect it here uh, to our pin 6 and then we take it uh, directly from uh, our radio input voltage and then it should work okay so uh, I have now here my uh, direct uh, power supply and let's see uh, what we have now here on pin uh, 6 and you see now we have uh, 13.7 volt and uh, yeah that uh, should be uh, definitely fine so let's see uh, when we connect here our cradle to the radio now and ah here we are so now we have uh, our indication and let's see if we can now pair here our radio uh, our microphone yeah so now it is uh, synchronized and we should be able oh let me see i have here our audio line and let me uh, audio and here we have audio very nice and I can adjust it very nice so that is uh, receive of course so let me switch off here the generator so generator is gone and uh, now you see that is uh, transmit now and now it is transmitting <laughs> and it is uh, producing audio very nice so everything is uh, working just fine okay so now we uh, have to finalize uh, our project here so uh, we have here of course our external supply and I've uh, directed uh, connected it to the power supply when I was testing but now uh, we um, put uh, yeah a little DC uh, power jack here to uh, our uh, fuse holder so with a piece of wire um, I do this uh, DC uh, power supply um, connector to it and then I can uh, put here on uh, this side where is it uh, come out so this is a male and uh, this is a female and now we can uh, connect it here this way and yeah uh, the advantage is uh, I can uh, still remove it and uh, can use here uh, my adapter on uh, another Kenwood radio for instance um, and on the other hand of course uh, I can easily use my um, my original um, microphone uh, connector here in the radio for using 
my uh, original uh, microphone as well. So of course I uh, could have uh, done it like uh, changing here the wiring inside my radio and uh, connect 13.8 uh, volt here to our internal uh, connector so uh, no question that would have been possible as well but then uh, you know um, you might have problems here with uh, your original phone and uh, there are also um, more uh, or other microphones uh, on the market which have uh, more uh, functions and uh, then you know if you start changing something here in the radio you uh, have always a problem that you might not uh, use you might not can use your original microphones uh, any longer and uh, therefore that is not a good idea so I think this uh, is a way uh, how you could do it without uh, any problems because we uh, can uh, change it change it uh, anytime uh, we want and uh, that is the reason why I do now here our DC connections for uh, the cradle su uh, supply uh, I do it this way and then it is uh, fully flexible without any problems. I think that uh, is the best uh, what we can do here. Okay and uh, our solution is here up and running so you see uh, I have taken here uh, my supply voltage and of course we have now here this uh, nice connector so that I can always take it away and uh, our solution is uh, fused as well because we here we are um, behind uh, the uh, fuse uh, uh, so it will work uh, as well as uh, we have a short here somewhere in uh, our cradle you see that uh, the cradle itself is supplied and uh, you see that uh, I can easily synchronize here hopefully yeah so now it is uh, synchronized and everything is running so now uh, we can give it back uh, to the owner and here it is our president Liberty mic fitted here to an amateur VHF uh, UHF radio and uh, finally we have uh, tested it on the air and uh, I can tell you it really sounds great it is uh, excellent so I didn't expect that it is that good but I can tell you it is awesome well to be honest I cannot promise that uh, it really sounds on any other radio as good as it is uh, sounding here on uh, the little uh, TM733 but um, you can always adapt it a little bit if it is necessary so for instance you can easily put in a different uh, capsule so uh, that you can uh, change your um, audio performance your transmit audio performance and uh, of course maybe you have uh, adjusted a little bit your uh, deviation inside the radio so maybe uh, another radio needs to uh, get more uh, adjusted that uh, it really uh, sounds good together with uh, the president this configuration I can uh, tell you is really working great and uh, therefore um, I do not have to change uh, a thing um, and uh, yeah I hope uh, that uh, the owner will uh, be happy because now uh, he is able to uh, move around his house and uh, he can uh, even sit uh, on the couch in his living room and uh, let the radio run in his check and uh, he can use his Liberty mic and uh, hopefully he will be satisfied so that's it uh, for uh, today um, maybe this uh, will give you a little bit uh, inspiration to do something like uh, this as well because it is really a great uh, microphone so that is a very good idea president uh, did a 
awesome job and it is uh, possible to uh, connect it to different radios and if you have a little bit more supply voltage here over your uh, radio whatever you want to connect uh, to the Liberty mic then you do not need uh, this uh, external solution uh, which uh, I have to done here with this radio but uh, you know that is uh, no problem it is uh, easy to do and uh, it is uh, from my opinion really a nice uh, solution so therefore here we are thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it a little bit and uh, if you like it please give me a big thumb up and catch you next time bye